Hi, morning everybody. Um, as promised, uh, I am posting a video now based on the poll that we took um, a couple of days ago on Facebook uh, about some of the topics that you guys would want me to cover. Uh, there were a few topics uh, that were mooted, uh, namely how to raise finance for uh, title splitting projects, um, how to source title splitting uh, projects itself and how can you find some of these. The other topics that was uh, mooted on the poll was uh, the process of buying uh, bigger projects for title splitting uh, on auctions and what is it that you have to think about when you're doing so. And the last one uh, was uh, one of our other guys that commented and uh, added a new section, which is case studies and deal analysis. So these are the kind of the four things that um, were put out for poll. And the main one that everybody voted on uh, that they wanted to know more about um, was how to raise finance. So in the video now, um, you'll hear me talk about really the five key ways of raising finance that I follow and I coach people also of how to do it. So let's get to it and uh, and look at what, what you know what are the options available to us. So in terms of another type of uh, financing mechanism you could use for title splitting which again uh, I've used in the past uh, is something that I call um, you buy with the delayed completion. So buying with delayed completion. So here you're basically finding the project itself. So once you've sourced it, you are then negotiating with a seller directly or via an agent that you will be agreeing a price, ideally as close as possible to uh, what you deem is a fair price that the seller will also then want to engage in this type of um, um, strategy or, or, or tactic really of you allowing you to buy it. And how, how it will work is basically you will agree the price up front uh, and then you will then negotiate with the seller that you will actually exchange at that price with the agreed uh, with the agreement but he will give you he or she will allow you a delayed completion so that delayed completion could be two weeks six weeks or six months depending on what you're proposing to do in between that time the idea being that you you secure the property you exchange so the seller is safe so he knows he's got your deposit and he knows that you're not going anywhere hopefully you'll buy it at the price that you've said and at the price that he feels is fair um, then you also have the time so what you're buying here is the delayed completion time so you go in and actually refurb uh, rejig the, the property itself to create those um, new subunits if you like uh, create the leases and the idea being that once you come to buying the actual um, property you're buying it at the higher price because you've now increased the value of that asset uh, as it before compared to what it was before when you bought it from the seller uh, the conveyancer comes in or the surveyor comes in values the asset at the what he sees so basically what you've created with the leases that you created and uh, once you get your 75% loan to value on that block or the units on that block you uh, at the day of completion you pay or your solicitors pay your seller the agreed price and the rest of it you get to keep if there is anything uh, as profit or you use uh, that new generated um, value as deposit for that block so in effect here in this strategy of buying with delay completion what all you're requiring to do is to basically look for the money for the refurb cost and the deposit money that you will leave on exchange. It's a very effective way that I've used in the past uh, to help me buy and I think it's something that's worth considering.